Hello everyone, welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. And as usual, before we begin, let's go to the Lord in prayer and ask Him to bless our time together. Heavenly Father, we bless you. We thank you for your Word. We thank you for the opportunity to learn about you and your Son, Jesus, and your ways that you want us to live in this life. And so we ask by your Holy Spirit, you will grant us uh, to learn the truth and then the ability to to be able to live according to that truth. And we ask for these things in Jesus' name. Amen. The title to today's lesson is No Fellowship with Darkness Works. And it's taken from the book of Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 11. Paul the Apostle desired for the Ephesian church members to be proving what is acceptable to the Lord because they were sometimes darkness but now are light in the Lord. They were to walk as children of the light. And in chapter 5 and verse 11 of his letter to the Ephesians, Paul said to have no fellowship with the fruitful or the unfruitful works of darkness, where we read, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather prove them. The verse begins, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. Paul began with the words, and have no fellowship, which in Greek is synkonoia me synkonomia, noinia, and means to become partakers together with the unfruitful or without fruit, barren, not yielding what it ought to yield, works, which refers to business, employment, that which may uh, any person in which they are occupied, their deeds or things done or accomplished by the hand, art in the industry of mind, of darkness, which literally means blindness and metaphorically means ignorance respecting divine things and human duties and accompanying ungodliness and immorality together with their consequent misery in hell. The Ephesians were not to be partakers with any other of the ideas or deeds of immorality. The verse goes on to say, but rather reprove them. Paul added, but, which is a disassociation conjunction that means what is about to be written takes precedence over what was previously stated. Moreover, nevertheless, and nonetheless, reprove them, or to a greater degree, much by far and sooner convict, refute, confute, find fault with, and correct the wickedness. Rather than just tolerate or, or ignore works of darkness, the Ephesian church members were to correct and refute them. When we meditate upon these words of Paul, we understand his exhortation not to partake of wickedness or unfruitful works of darkness. In addition, we are to reprove these works when we see them. Many times we simply ignore them or passively accept dark works. But Paul's exhortation uh, to it is to correct and refute them. If we are to be like Jesus, we should not only keep ourselves from wicked and ungodly activities, we should be his children of light and make darkness flee away. Next time, Paul shares how it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. So read ahead and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word. In Jesus' name.